Tonight, an air of danger in American homes, an invisible invader so deadly, the U.S. Surgeon General recently issued a national health advisory. He urged all Americans to test their homes for radon gas. You can't see, smell, or taste it, but medical editor Marianne Childers reports radon can be a killer. It's a cozy house on a quiet street, and for 15 years, it's been home for Bill and Liz Hoffman. They never dreamed it could make them sick. I had an intermittent pain below my left shoulder blade. X-rays revealed a large tumor on her lung, and surgery confirmed. At age 37, Liz had cancer. There was no family history. Liz never smoked. There is no reason that I should have lung cancer, except that our home tested high for radon. Radon is a gas that occurs naturally in soil, rock, and water. The average level in outdoor air is a 0.4 concentration. In indoor air, it's 1.3. But if your home is 4.0 or above, the EPA says you need to take action. Liz is home tested at 8.6. Radon is thought to be the second leading cause of lung cancer after cigarette smoking. It kills 21,000 people every year. It's insidious, entering your house through cracks or openings in the foundation. It can seep through concrete and spread throughout your house. The age, size, or value of your home doesn't matter. If levels get too high, you're at risk, but you don't have to be. It's something that's so preventable that it's, it's sort of senseless not to know what concentrations you have in your house. It's easy to test for, and if you do have elevated radon concentrations, it's easy to fix. Bill Field conducted a landmark study of radon at the University of Iowa. He found that with exposure to level 4 radon, the EPA's upper guideline, the risk of lung cancer jumped 40%. He believes lower levels, between two and four, are just as dangerous over time. Others agree. It must be understood that there's no safe level of radon. Statewide testing in 1997 found elevated radon levels in 17% of homes in Cook County. Lake County was the lowest at 13%. Will and McHenry tested at 28 and 29%. DuPage, 31%. DeKalb, 45%. In Kane County, 49% of homes tested high. That's almost one in two. It's kind of a hidden danger that uh, the public is not aware of. We asked 40 families across the Chicago area to test their homes. The test is simple and inexpensive. First of all, you just fill out the information on the back of the envelope, and then you stuff the little sponge into the open end. Next, you simply hang it up on the lowest livable floor of your house, the basement if you have one, the first floor if you don't. Out of the 40, we found three houses with radon above the EPA's upper limit of four. Two were in DuPage and one in Kane County. The other 14 had levels between two and four. That means nearly 45 percent of the homes we tested had unhealthy radon levels. If there was somebody locally giving that much radiation exposure to people, people would be up in arms trying to go after the company that's doing that. But since it's Mother Nature, they really don't see a need to, need to fix it. Some communities are requiring radon-resistant building materials for new homes, but reducing radon in older homes is easy. A licensed mitigator can tell you where it's entering the house. Solutions range from repairing cracks to adding pipe and vent or fan systems. We're pulling the radon out from under the floor and under the crawl space surfaces before it gets into the house. Murphy, who's installed nearly 8,000 mitigation systems, says most don't require big changes to your home or a big expense. Liz Hoffman's vent system costs $1,200. She would have spent 10 times that if only she'd known about the air of danger in her home. When you look at the five-year survival rates, I only have a 15 percent chance to celebrate my 42nd birthday. Liz Hoffman told me she wants to urge everyone to test their home for radon. And you should do it every two years because levels change, as well as any time you move, make structural changes, or occupy a previously unused level of your home. Now, radon test kits are available at some stores and through local health departments. And we invite you to log on to our website for important information on radon from the American Lung Association and for help in getting radon test kits at half price. Our website, cbs2chicago.com. It's a good time to test now because with houses closed up so much, the concentrations are likely to be higher. How much do the test kits cost and how long does it take you to test the, the house? Uh, test kits usually range between between $10 and $25. The ones that uh, through our website, through the Lung Association, you can get at half price, $5. It, it, the, the test we have, you hang up for no less than 72 hours. Kits vary from kit to kit. But if you find out you have it, you need to get a pro in. And where do you put it specifically? In your basement if you have it, the lowest livable floor of your house if you don't. Okay. 
Thanks, Brian. You bet.